Also on Tuesday, we went to a couple of locations to talk to some well-known hockey people and some average hockey fans about this big news. We start with a young man who couldn't wait to make his $100 season ticket deposit. Absolutely wasn't wasting any time. I remember how sad I was when they left, and this is a big day in North Bay for getting their hockey team back. Tell me why. I'm a passionate hockey fan, and having the OHL team around is, is big for our community. You get to see a lot of upcoming stars, guys that are going to go on and play multiple levels of uh, pro hockey, and I believe that it just shows uh, good community involvement uh, backing up an or OHL organization, and it also provides opportunities for the arena for reconstruction to host other events, conferences, and concerts, so it's a great opportunity for North Bay today. Well, it's great. I played for the Powassan Hawks way back, and we used to be able to go to the games uh, and uh, watch the Centennials, so it brings back some great memories, and uh, as I'm getting older and uh, getting out of hockey, it'd be nice to uh, sit down and watch a game. I'd love for that to come back. Do you see yourself buying a season ticket if they do come back? Oh, for sure, yes. Follow it a lot and a little bit worried about the uh, kind of the general 2,000 population that go. And uh, that was probably one of the reasons why they left in the first place. And I don't see a whole lot of changes um, coming back. Uh, you know, since uh, probably about the 70s, there's been little dips and dives of 3,000 here and there. But generally, it's a 2,000 population. Don't know if that's enough to make a stay. Would you buy a season mm -hmm. ticket? I would. I'd love to. Will you? I will. Sure. I, I think it's uh, it's fair. It's uh, probably too bad for the other junior A team and them that established. I think it'll affect them, but maybe there's room for all of them to operate. But yeah, it's good to see them back. Why do you say that? Well, uh, you know, I think it's good for the city more than anything else. The people move their companies here and move out. They always want entertainment for their people, and maybe with a casino, maybe instead of renovating the other one, they should have put. The two of them together, but it's not. I guess that's not possible. Honestly, really do believe that the OHL will work in North Bay the second time. I think you've got uh, um, Scott Abbott, who is an owner that's well respected around the Ontario Hockey League, and um, you know, great president and Mike Griffin, who's a local guy, and then Stan Butler, who's, who's had success everywhere he's gone. So I think it's going to be outstanding, and with with different ownership, I think it really really can work. People say, uh, you know, North Bay may have lost the, f the fervor for hockey that they used to have. Uh, do you think it will take a lot to get it back? I don't think it's going to take a lot. I think people are excited about it. They know they've lost it. It's been proven before that uh, in some markets where uh, OHL teams have gone back to the community that lost it, the uh, example would be Owen Sound in Guelph, that they've done very well. And I think this is going to be great for the community. And I, I would be surprised if, you know, they don't average around 2,800 to 3,200 fans uh, a game next year, if not more. Again, if you want to buy a season ticket, you do not have to wait till the big rollout news conference on Thursday. You can go to either floor number two, the Parks and Rec Department at City Hall, or go to the ticket office at Memorial Gardens. It is open all day Wednesday, and they've sold some 200 plus as of 4 o'clock Tuesday.